Yeah, over the last 24 hours, my inbox has been flooded by constituents wanting to see an end to the ceasefire, uh, a ceasefire to the, the conflict in Yemen. And he has said a number of times that the government wants to see an, an end to the conflict in Yemen. How does he square that circle, though, when this government has been facilitating £4.6 billion pounds worth of arms sales, making us complicit in Yemen? Mm. Well, um, you know, I understand the question, and let me uh, let me repeat again. The the long-standing relationship with uh, uh, with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in terms of its defence and its uh, its place in a in a difficult and quite hostile region is is long-standing. In relation to Yemen, any arms exports are covered by extremely strict legal guarantees uh, and uh, uh, and the scrutiny of this House and the courts. But also in relation to the conflict itself, as I indicated earlier, if it was as simple as just saying to one party, uh, stop doing this and all will be all right, when they have on their borders those who have had incursions into Saudi Arabia before, when they have missiles directed at them, uh, I don't think it would have any credibility. Accordingly, we must continue to do all we can through the UN to see an end to this conflict, in which military pressure... Uh, on a Houthi insurgency has been part of that process. But clearly, as we have said before, we don't see a military solution to this. We see a process leading to negotiations and an end to the conflict as soon as possible.